So we start off in Jewelry CAD Dream. This is where we design our initial piece of jewelry. We can conceptualize, refine, and customize our pieces within Jewelry CAD Dream. So let's get started. We'll zoom for a build and then we'll take a look at some of the cool features. Okay, so we zoomed through that model. It's a basic three stone engagement, didn't take too long. Just on a side note, uh, I use a 3D mouse to help me with designing. It's really useful for navigating the 3D environment. Okay, so you may or may not have noticed on the left hand side, we have this history manager. And with this, we can move forwards and backwards in our build, okay? And we can step through it bit by bit. And this is really useful if we need to make a change to our model. We can come back to the point in history that the change is required, make the modification, and then replay the rest of the history. So what I've done is also linked up a few variables to some of the parameters in our model. Okay, specifically our center stone size and our side stones. With this, we can come into our driving parameters and we can customize our model here as well. So I'm gonna change the center stone. We have a one carat now, let's change it to a two carat. Hit apply and we should see the ring update. We have a two carat center. Okay, obviously we have a bit of an overlap here. So we're going to have to accommodate for this by increasing our stone separation. Maybe a bit more there. Or even we'll increase our side stones a bit in size as well. And we'll tweak it out a bit further. In a similar respect, we can modify our ring size and see the model update. So let's come into our ring sizer. Pick the US size guide. I think we are at a set, uh, US size seven currently. Let's drop it down to a size five. This will naturally bring the stones closer, so we'll have to increase that separation again. There you go, we're now a size five. Let's drop it down to a one carat center again and drop our size stones down as well. Let's close up that separation. Okay, but I think you get the idea now. And we can create these variables for any parameter within Jewelrycad Dream. Uh, the result of this being that we can generate an entire library of our own components and with these we can serve multiple customers with a single design. Okay, and this is a great way to make your processes far more efficient. Okay, we are able to create an entire virtual inventory of models. Okay, so we have our model here. Next up we'll take a look at some rendering. 